This is going to be a review of two-step equations. <laughs> Remember that we draw a line at the fence. We always move the variable, the number that is furthest from the variable, and we have to use the opposite operations to move across that line. So I'm going to move the plus one first, so I have to change it to a minus one. That gets rid of them on the left. I'm going to bring down the 5x, and I'm going to take 76 minus one, which is 75. Then Remember that a number next to a variable means to multiply, so I'm going to have to do the opposite, which is divide the 5 to the other side. And 75 divided by 5 is 15. So you always move the number further from the variable first, using the opposite operation. Let's do one more like that. So right now, the plus 5 is not connected to the x, so I have to move it by subtracting. That cancels out the 5's. I'm left with 6x equals 36. And then a number next to a variable means to multiply, so I have to do the opposite, which is division. So I divide that 6 away from the x to get x equals 6 when I take 36 divided by 6. Remember that you can always stop these videos and go back and re-watch them. Let's look at another type of problem. So we always put our line at the equal sign. <clears throat> right now, the plus 9 is further from the variable. That's what I'm going to move first. The opposite of adding 9 subtracting 9. So I'm going to subtract that 9 to the other side. Remember, we're trying to get the variable by itself. So I have b divided by 4 on the left, and 14 minus 9 is 5. Then b is being divided by 4, so the opposite is going to be multiplying. So I'm going to multiply that 4 to the other side of the equal sign. So I take 5 times 4 to get b equals 20. Do one more like that. Alright, so right now, the minus 6 is not connected to the A, so I'm going to do the opposite, which is adding it. So I'm going to add 6 to the other side. 14 plus 6 is 20. So then I have 20 equals 3 divided by, sorry, A divided by 3. The opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So I get A equals 60. Alright, and then the final type 
of two-step equation is one that involves one big division problem. <laughs> Guys, this problem reads y minus 8 divided by 6. I can't move that minus 8 until I reverse the division problem. So in this problem, the first thing I have to do is take the 6 and multiply it to the other side to reverse the division problem. So I have y minus 8 on the left, and 3 times 6 is 18. Then minus 8, the opposite is adding 8. So I'm going to move that to the other side. And 18 plus 8 is 26. Remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always rewind the video, watch it again, pause it at any time. So guys, again, this is 2 plus v divided by 5. I have to reverse the division problem first. So I'm going to multiply the 5 to the other side. I get negative 15 equals 2 plus v. Right now, this is a positive 2. So the opposite is going to be subtracted to the other side. So I have v equals negative 17. Make sure you use your calculator for your negatives and positives. And those are the three types of two-step equations.